Hey guys, this is Brad from Tech Guy Web Solutions, and I wanted to make a quick video showing you how to install and configure the My Sites component, which is a component that's mainly for displaying web design or web development projects, but could also be used for other types of projects as well. So if we go to TechGuyWebSolutions.com and click on Downloads, and click on Joomla Extensions, Components, and I have the 2.5 and 3.0 version. We're going to install the 2.5 version. So I'm going to click download, download, and then it's going to ask to, it's going to download the package for us. I actually already downloaded it, but I'll do it again. All right, so now we have the com my sites zip file. And I'm going to go over to a, I have a brand new Joomla installation here, 2.5. See, so yeah, I'm going to install the extension, just like any other. I'm going to browse for the zip file. And click on upload and install. Alright, so it's been installed successfully. Now, the next thing to do would be to go to components, my sites and create a category all right so let's create a new category and I'll just call this web design and put in some sample uh, filler content this is just from the lorem ipsum website uh, category image I have a, an image that I just grabbed off Google. I'm going to use that for the category image. So I'll click Save and New so I can create another one, another category. And I'll call this Web Programming. Throw some content. And then I'll select an image for, for this category. Okay, so I'll save and close. So now I have two categories. Now we can go over to projects and create a new project. I'll just name this test project. And we want to choose a category. I'll choose the web design category. We want to choose a date and a description. In the URL, I'll just say something.com. Something. And for each project, you can have a main image and you can have up to four thumbnails. So I'm going to get a main image here. Again, these are just images I grabbed off Google. I'm going to select two thumbnails here. And these would, would most likely be screenshots or, I don't know, maybe banners that you designed or something like that. Uh, so I'll click Save and Close. So now I have, I have two categories and one project. Now we need to create a menu link. So I'm going to go to Menus, Main Menu, Add New Menu, Item. And we're going to click Select. And we want, first I'll create a Categories Item which will give us a, a layout of all the all the project categories so I'll just name this uh, my project categories and you have an option here to display either the full layout or titles only the full layout is it'll display the category image the description um, and the title the titles only will just be just text, just the title. So I'm going to keep it at full. And I have the default width at 180 for the images and height of 120, but these can be changed as well. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it like that and click Save and New. <coughs> and now I'll create a link for all, just all the projects. So if we click on Projects, and I'll just call this, I'll call it My Projects. And again, you can choose the full or the title layout, and you can choose the width and height of the image. I'm just going to leave it at the default. 
So now if we visit the front end and reload, we have these two links here. I'm going to click on the categories link, which gives us the title of the category, the image, and the description. Now when you hover over these, the, the gray background, that's just part of this template. For some reason it has gray um, when you hover over any link. So that, that's not going to be there on other templates. So you click on the category and it will show you a list of projects in that category. All right, so if we click on the test project, it'll take us to a page like this where it tells us the title, the category, the date, and the project description, which you could put anything in. You could create your own custom fields in the description if you wanted. Uh, and then we have the main image and we have the thumbnails underneath. And if you click on the thumbnail, it'll open up to a nice big view of your project. And you also have this launch the website button which will just open another tab and bring you to the, the website. We can also view the projects view. If we click on my projects, this will show all projects in all categories. Um, and if you want, you can filter by category down here. If you go to web design, web programming, we have nothing in. Um, and we can click all projects from here as well. Now we can also change the image size. Say we want to change the category image sizes. Maybe maybe you have maybe your site doesn't have a sidebar and you want three big images. You could easily do that um, right from here. So let's say we want to change it to 300. We'll say 300 and 280 high. So we save that and we go back to the categories layout and now we have two big category images and we can do the same thing for the projects page if we go back to the my projects we can change the width and the height here as well so if I reload now we get the big thumbnail the image at the itself actually isn't as long as I, I made it, but um, depending on the, the height of your image, uh, you just gotta match that up. All right, so I think that's it. Uh, you could also create a menu item for a for a category. I guess I'll show you that real quick. If we want to choose single category, then we can choose the category over here. We'll just say web design. And we can name this web design. And then we can also create a link to one specific project. If we, ch if we uh, select single project, we should get a drop down over here and it will show us all our projects. And you can set the height, the, the width of the main image and the thumbnails. So we'll just say test project. We'll save that. And if we go to our front end and reload, we should have some more links over here. If we click on web design, it'll take us to the category page of the web design category page, and it'll show us all the projects. If we click on test project, it'll take us to that one project page. All right, so that's basically it. Um, you can also download the modules. I have a couple modules for this component. Um, where is it? Yeah, so we have the projects module, which will just display the latest projects in a list, and then we have categories. It'll, it'll display the categories uh, in a module position. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoy the extension. If you need any support or have any questions, go ahead and, and contact us through the website. Uh, thanks for watching.